hello guys welcome back to my channel i'm harris and you're watching possible now so guys today i'm going to guide you about that how you can fix apex legend badware integrated error in your system and this video is going to be really simple and short so just watch the video till the end and if you're new in this channel kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and without any waste of time let's start the video so guys first of all the first method is you need to uninstalling the virtual drive software so many user uh, found that uh, daemon tools light conflicts with apex after this update so here's how to fix it first you need to open the control panel and uninstall a program locate uh, daemon tools light or any virtual drive software you have uninstall it completely and including all app data and after that restart your system and after rebooting try launching apex legend again and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, why this method works guys because it seems the issue stems from ea anti-cheat uh, flagging virtual drive tools has potential threats until the devs path patch this uninstalling those program is the best work around and the next thing guys is we need to update our graphics driver so for nvidia user first you need to open your geforce experience and here you need to go to your driver section here and simply click on check for updates it will take some time so just wait for it and it will download and install the latest drivers in your system and for amd user guys you can do the same step in your redon software and once it's done the second thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and Visual Retrovision files in our system. So for this you need to visit the official website of DirectX and download the latest DirectX. Here is the setup. Open the setup, accept the agreement, click to next, install the ping bar. It's optional, so it's up to you. Click to next and wait for it. Maybe it takes some time, so don't be panic. And uh, just after a few minutes guys, you just need to wait for it. And uh, it's done. Now click to finish, get back, and I'll move to the visual retrovision folder. Visit the official website and download all visual files in your system. Here is the patch file. Run this patch file, and it will automatically install all the visual files in your system. You just need to uh, click to yes, click to OK, and rather of these steps, it will automatically perform. So you just need to wait for it. So guys, if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share it to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, just follow the screen instructions and just after a few minutes we're good to go. Now guys, the pack steps are complete and now launch your game and check if your problem is resolved or not and the uh, method number three is we need to close some background applications so for this you need to go to your uh, research bar and in here you need to type settings go to your settings go to your uh, privacy section here and uh, in general there are four options you need to turn them off down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background get back and i'll move to the gaming section here and here you need to turn off your game bar capture setting you need to turn it off and only enable your game mode and uh, after that close this and the next thing is we need to remove some junk or bad files in our system so for this we need to open uh, run the log box press window key plus r and here we need to use some commands like the first one is prefetch p r e f e t c h it's the first command press ok click to continue Control A, select all and delete all of these bad files in your system. Skip the step. Again, we use the second command, window key plus R. And this time, use the second command like percentage, temp, T, E, M, P, again, percentage. Control A, select all and delete these files also. Skip the step and uh, once these files deleted from here, you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin. So 
so here is the recycle bin delete these files also from here and once it's done guys the last thing we need to do is free our cpu memory so open your task manager and first you need to check your cpu memory from the performance section and uh, if any of your background application that takes your cpu memory you need to turn and task that kind of application or program and once your cpu memory is free you're good to go launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, if you found this video helpful guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out